Hey Medtronic members, we're going to be doing uh, Pilates today. Uh, the only thing you're going to need for this workout is a mat, uh, and we're going to be focusing on all of core, all right? So get your mat ready. I'm going to turn on some music, and we'll get started here. All right, so from here, why don't you go ahead and just lay it down on your mat. Let's just get warmed up, all right? So we're going to start just by bringing the legs up to 90 degrees here. Go ahead and take the hands right around the knees and we'll go ahead and pull the legs in just as much as you can. Just relax here and just breathe. All right, so you want to kind of feel this stretch here into uh, the back of the legs. All right, and the hamstrings here, lower back, and maybe into the uh, front part of the hips. All right, so the more you pull the legs in, well, the more you'll feel that stretch. All right, just hold it there and breathe. All right, now from here, let's go ahead and take that left leg and we'll go ahead and set it on the floor. Take both hands right around the right leg. Let's go ahead and pull that right leg in. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and let the leg uh, go. Let's go ahead and switch to the other leg, bringing that left leg in. All right, here we go, pulling that leg in. All right, perfect. All right, now, let's go back to that right leg. Pull the leg in. All right, now just go back and forth here, okay? Just kind of take your time with this. And just alternating the legs in. And think about when you bring that leg in. Maybe bring it in a little bit higher. And stretch that hamstring just a little bit more. So the higher you bring the leg in, the more you feel the stretch, all right? Also, when you bring that leg in, think about maybe tucking the hips under, pushing the hips forward. Get a little bit more stretch into the back of the legs as you're doing this. Make sure you're breathing here. Right now, just warming up. All right. How about two more here? One more here. All right. So let's go ahead and bring the legs back up to 90 degrees. So where we started from here, right? Let's go ahead and take the arms out to the side. All right, so still keep the legs at 90 degrees here. Just keep the arms down on the floor, especially the shoulders here. Let's go ahead and bring the legs over here to the left as much as you can. Now, you don't have to bring them all the way down to the floor if you don't want to. It's strictly up to you. Anything right here, just trying to keep the shoulders down on the floor while you have the legs over here to the left. Breathe. I'm going to be able to feel the stretch here in the lower part of the back. Let's go ahead and bring it all the way back up. Let's try the other side here, okay? So once again, still keeping those arms down on the floor, shoulders as well. All right, remember now, you don't have to bring those legs over all the way to the floor, just as far as you can. You want to feel that stretch there, lower part of the back. Let's go ahead and bring it all the way back up. All right, now just bring the legs up. Let's take them side to side, still keeping the arms on the floor. Down, there we go. Actively warming up the back now, all right? Breathing. Make sure you're not holding your breath, not only in this part, but all throughout class here. Make sure you're breathing here, okay? All right. Just a couple more times here. All right, how about one more time to each side? All right, and then from 
from here is where we're the legs all the way back up to 90 degrees. All right. Okay, now from here, we're going to go ahead and take the left leg. I want you to set it on the floor. All right, here we go. Take the left hand on the right behind the right knee. All right, so it's about right there. Let's go ahead and pull that leg across the body. You want to feel that stretch right in that hip area. So the more you pull the leg across, well, the more you feel the stretch. All right. All right, let's go and bring it all the way back up. Let's try the other side here, okay? So, let's take that left leg, bring it up, let's pull it across the body. There we go. So just making sure we're warmed up before we really get into the exercise part of class. Let's go ahead and bring it all the way back up. All right, good. So let's go ahead and bring both feet to the floor, to the mat. All right, I want you to go ahead and bring the feet together. Let's stress the inner thighs now. We're almost there, almost warmed up. Or through with the warm water, I should say. All right, let's go ahead and bring the legs all the way back up. All right, let's do a couple of more stretches here, then we're gonna be ready, all right? So let's go ahead and bring the legs up to 90 degrees once again. Just go ahead and grab the feet here, all right, or toes. All right, I'm just go ahead and pull the legs back as much as you can. All right. So you wanna feel the stretch here in the front part of the hips, the back of the legs, the inner thighs, maybe even to the lower part of the back as well. All right, so a lot of things going on with this stretch here. Okay, so go ahead and keep the legs at 90 degrees here. Just go ahead and bring the legs over here to the left, all the way down. You can take your left arm out on the floor. Take your right arm, just bend the arm like this, and I want you to reach back as much as you can. All right, once again here, opening up the chest and shoulders. Uh, also, you might feel the stretch here in the lower part of the back as well. Go ahead and bring it all the way back up. All right, now we're just going to switch to the other side. So we're just going to bring the legs all the way back up. Let's go over here to the right. So the right arm is going to be out in front of you here on the floor. If we go take that left arm, you're going to bend it. You're going to reach back once again. All right. Now, if you watch the yoga stretch video, you're probably thinking, well, this is the same class as the yoga stretch. Well, we do a little bit of the same warm up because it's just good, a good warm up to be able to. Uh, get the core muscles ready, back muscles ready uh, for class. All right, so we're about to get into the Pilates part of it. All right, let's go ahead and bring it all the way back up. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring the legs back up to 90 degrees here. All right, so once you go ahead and take your legs out straight, go ahead and set them on the floor here. All right, 
Okay, come from here, I want you to keep your hands here. Now, don't move your hands at all. So you wanna to try to keep them right in this area right here. We'll move back just a little bit. All right, so from here, what I want you to do, I want you to just kind of just roll yourself up. All right, slowly. I want you to touch your toes. And I want you to slowly just roll back down here, okay? We're breathing as you're doing this here, all right? All right, here we go. So let's try that again, same thing. Here we go, so you're gonna roll up. All right, touching the toes. All right, so you're uh, doing some ab work and also stretching out the back of the legs. All with this motion here, okay? Let's continue, all right, same thing, here we go. You're gonna exhale as you come up. Try to keep your feet down also when you're doing this exercise. Once again, try not to move your hands at all. You move your fingers, not your hands. <laughs> and again, here we go. Again, same thing, here we go. All right, let's do two more, just like that, all right? Same thing, make sure you're breathing here, okay? All right, now if you're having trouble with your feet staying down once you're trying to come up, as you continue out uh, throughout class or continue uh, taking blocks, all right, your abs will be able to get strong enough to where they'll be able to stay down with ease here, okay? All right. Okay, that was the last one right here. Let's go ahead and bring it all the way back down. All right. Okay, so, how about we go ahead and let's try the same exercise, but this time, once you come up, you're going to lift one leg, all right? So I'm gonna start with my left hand, all right, out. And when I come up, I'm gonna lift my left leg up, and I'm gonna to touch my foot, okay? And I'm gonna come back down slowly. I'm going to switch to the other side here, all right? So, right hand, right foot. All right, now let's continue that. You can still have a slight bend in the knee when you're bringing that leg up. So here we go, up. All right. Same thing, here we go. Remember now, you want to try to make these movements as fluid as possible. That's where the strength comes in at. Doing these slow and fluid, There we go. Okay, what are we doing while we're doing this? We're breathing, right? Okay, so you're probably thinking, well, I'm getting my breathing all mixed up. Think about right here, what you wanna do is you're gonna exhale on the way up, okay? Inhale on the way back down, and continue. And if you're saying to yourself, well, I'm doing it backwards, don't worry about it, just make sure you keep breathing, all right? Now, when you start exercising, your body needs oxygen to be able to continue doing the exercises, okay? All right, here we go. Let's do two more, just like that, same thing. Breathing, and once again. One more time. Okay, let's go ahead and bring it all the way uh, back down here. All right, very good. Okay, good. All right, how about we go ahead and let's do one more here, okay? So what I want you to do is go ahead and bring your legs up to 90 degrees. All right. Okay. All right, so what I want you to do here is you're going to roll yourself up, okay? Now, I'm going to leave this part up to you. you can, I want you to keep your feet up, so try not to let them touch the floor at all. Now, the optional part here is if you want to extend your legs, you can do that, and then I want you to roll back down, okay? So let's try that. So you're gonna roll up, okay? Extend your legs into boat, and then come back down, all right? And again, same thing. Roll up, extend, good. Keep going. By the way, when I said one more exercise, I don't mean one more exercise to the end of class. One more exercise, and we're gonna move on to something else here, okay? All right. <laughs> I don't want you to think, well, that's gonna be a quick class here. All right, and again, well, you can always turn it off, turn the video off if you need to here, so. <laughs> or if you just need to rest. All right, here we go, let's do three more. I think I pointed two, but I think we're gonna do three here, okay? All right, two more. Okay, 
that one more time. All right, hold this one. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, breathe. All right, now from here, see if you can just keep it extended and just roll all the way back down. Bring it down easy, easy. All right, good. All right, just kind of catch your breath here for a second, all right? All right. Okay, so let's kind of do something for the uh, little bit of obliques, but it's going to be more into the hips here, okay? All right. So what I want you to do is bring your legs up to 90 degrees here. Once again, let's go ahead and take the arms out to the side. All right. Now what I want you to do is, this is going to be similar to the stretch we did earlier, but we're going to turn it into an exercise here, okay? So let's go ahead and bring the legs over here to the left. But I want you to bring them all the way down. I want you to hold it right there. Now from here, I want you to take that top leg, and I want you to extend that top leg, okay? Now keep the legs together. Now real slow. Let's bring the legs all the way back up to center here, okay? All right, so let's try the other side. Bring that leg back down. Let's go to the other side. Let's bring them over here to the right. Not all the way. Not all the way. And then try to extend that top leg. I've got my chair in the way here. Let's see if I can move around it. Let's go ahead and bring it all the way up. All right, good. All right, let's continue that here, okay? All right, so same thing, bringing the legs over here to the right. To the left, excuse me. All right, extending the top leg. All right, and bring it all the way up. You should, should be able to feel that oblique working. A little bit into that right hip as well, all right? Okay, let's try the same uh, thing, other side. Good. Keep going. one more each side here, okay? One more time. Very good. Okay. All right. Let's try another one here, okay? All right. Remember now, anytime you need to take a break, take a break if you need to here, okay? All right. Now, from here, what I want you to do, I want you to roll yourself up, okay? All right. Now, you're going to alternate heel taps. So you're going to tap your heel, you tap your heel, and do that four times, okay? So your heels are touching the floor, all right? And then you're going to extend yourself all the way back down. All right, now I'm going to move just so you'll be able to see my feet as well here. Okay, I'm going to move back a little bit. All right. Okay, so let's try to extend it out again here. I'll do it this way. All right, here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up. I'm going to bring my knees in. I'm going to touch my heel. Four, three, two, one. Now extend all the way back down. Good. All right, same thing. Here we go. Continue. Up. All right, here we go. Heel touch. Four. Three. Two. One. Extend down. Good. Keep going. Make sure you breathe in here. Abs are tight. All right, keep going. Same thing all the way back down. Now listen. If you're having or if you're feeling this in the lower part of the back, especially right here, you can put your hands down right there, still do the same exercise. That should be able to alleviate the pressure on the lower back here, okay? Remember doing four of those, bring it back down. Do two more of those, just like that, same thing. Here we go. All right, so four, three, two, one. 
two, one, one more time. And again, here we go up. All right, here we go. So, four, three, two. Okay, let's stay right here. All right, go ahead and put your hands down. All right, good. Now I want you to extend your legs. Now you're gonna curl your legs under. So you see how I'm turning here? Curl my legs under. I'm gonna extend them back up. Now I'm gonna go the other way. All right, now continue. Breathe in here. You might also find yourself traveling a little bit as you're doing this exercise. Eight more. How about that? Breathe in. I might move out of camera here. <laughs> Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. There you go. Bring it in. All right. Good. Okay, so what you're gonna do from here, you need to get some water, get some water, catch your breath. I'm gonna turn around here. All right. So let's work on the lower part of the back here, right? Okay. Now from here, you're gonna go ahead and be, uh, both hands are on the mat, both knees are on the mat. So what I want you to do here, I want you to extend your right arm and your left leg. But when you come out, let's see if you can take that right arm to the right and that left leg to the left, just a little bit. And then you're gonna bring it back in and curl it in, okay? So once again, you're gonna extend out, right arm to the right, left leg to the left. Now try not to let anything drop here. And bring it back in. Good, keep going, same thing. Breathing here. So the further you bring that arm and leg out, well, the harder you exercise will get here, okay? So I'm gonna leave that part up to you. Let's do two more, here we go. One more time. All right, good, bring it all the way down. All right, good. All right, now let's take a little break here for a second. Just go ahead and take your hands out in front of you here. Let's go ahead and sit back in the extended child pose. Give that right back a rest. back up all right so let's try the other side all right so this time left arm is going to come out right leg out all right and what's going to happen here what well, we're going to take the left arm to the left right leg goes to the right side to let anything drop okay and then bring it back in and then curl it in. all right let's try seven more of these same thing here Good. Now you're trying to let that leg or arm drop when you bring it out to the side here. Five more. Good. Abs are tight here, okay? Because that's also what's helping keep your balance when you're doing this exercise, all right? And again, same thing. All right, what are we doing while we're doing this also? We're breathing, right? And again, here we go. <laughs> 
One more time. All right, and bring it all the way in. All right, good. One more time here. Let's take it back to an extended child pose. Keep going. Stay, that, stay in that child pose. Got to check and see how much music I got left here. Okay. All right. All right, good. Let's go ahead and bring it all the way up. All right, good. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to go ahead and lay all the way down on the mat here. All right? You missed. Scoot back just a little bit here. All right. So what you're going to do here, go ahead and take your arms out. All right. <clears throat> all right, so here's what we're going to do here, okay? Now, you want to try not to use your hands or your feet. You want to try to use your abs the whole time here, okay? All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to lift yourself up, but I want to turn on my side here, hold, okay? And then I'm gonna slowly just come back down, okay? All right, once again, no hands and no feet, all right? Now, if you need to cheat just a little bit with your hand, go ahead and do that, all right? Here we go, so let's try that again, same thing, here we go, so up. Okay, you wanna turn, no hands, okay? And then slowly back down. All right, so what you're trying to do here, use those oblique muscles, all right, to perform this move here. Okay? Keep going, same thing. Breathing here. Try two more here, okay? Here we go. Okay, one more time. Last one. All right, and bring it all the way down. Woo! All right. Okay, so what's gonna happen here? We gotta go and get the other side, right? So I'm gonna turn around this way, so I'll still be able to face the camera. Okay. Let's see here. Let me move back just a little bit. See my hands here. All right, here we go. You guys ready? Here we go. So we're gonna lift up. We're gonna turn. Okay, good. Bring it all the way back down. Good. Same thing. Here we go. Breathing here. Four more. That one was uh, for you, Summer. Four more. That was for you. <laughs> Three more. All right, last one here. Hold it. Spin it real slow, see so if you can come back down. All right, bring it in. There we go. Okay, just take a break here for a second. 
exercises all right okay so what we're gonna do here is you're actually gonna start in a plank position here okay there we go all right so what I want you to do here is you're gonna take your left leg and you're going to step forward like this okay you're gonna take your left hand you're gonna lift it up off the floor but you take your right leg and I want you to kick through okay now, I'm not touching the floor here. My, my hand is. The leg is not. Now, real slow, I want you to come back. And step back. Go ahead and put that hand down. Step back with the left leg. Let's try the other side. Step forward the right foot by the right hand. You're going to lift this hand up, which would be the right hand. Okay? Now, try to bring that leg through. Okay, and then bring it back. Now, right here, that's when you'll be able to feel those obliques working. Okay? Step back. Keep going. Real slow here. I'm going to move back here so I can stay in the camera. Here we go. This one right here, if you hadn't already noticed, probably also going to get your heart rate up as well. All right, so you're trying to hold your body up and also perform the exercise at the same time. Okay, all right, the last one right here. All right, good. Go ahead and bring it all the way down. All right. If you need to take yourself into an extended child pose, do that. We'll do one more exercise, and then we will be done with the exercise part of class. So let's go ahead and bring it all the way back up. All right, now from here, let's go back to a plank here. All right. Okay, but from here, once you go ahead and to bring it down to your forearms, there we go. All right. Now what I want you to do here, I don't want you to uh, take your left leg, you're gonna bend your left leg up, okay? All right, now you're gonna turn that left over here to the right. I don't want you to drop your hips. And I want you to bring it back up and then bring it back down. And let's go to the right. So bring this leg up. You don't have to touch that foot to the floor. I just don't want those hips to drop though. Okay? All right. So we call this the scorpion. So it looks like you have a scorpion tail when that leg comes up here. Okay? All right, you should be able to feel this working into the obliques. Let's do four more. And you're probably asking yourself, you know, if we're near the end of class, why did you wait to do the hardest ones at the end of class? Well, there's a good reason for that. Because I just thought of them. All right, so. Okay. Last one, we're there. Good, and bring it all the way up. All right, you can go ahead and set it all the way down here. All right. Started sweating here. 
<laughs> All right, here we go. We're done with the exercise part here. So we're just gonna cool down. We're gonna stretch. So right here, I want you to just take a minute and just breathe here, all right? All right, now from here, just go ahead and take your hands. They're actually gonna be off the mat. Let me move back just a little bit here. They're actually gonna be off the mat. And I want you to keep your arms straight. Try to keep your hips down. Just kind of feel that stretch there into the stomach. Now, if this kind of hurts your back, you can kind of push or bring your hands a little further forward. That'll take some of the pressure off that lower part of the back. If you want a little bit more stretch, kind of bring your hands in a little bit co closer here. All right, so you really wanna be able to feel this lower part of the stomach. Nice job today, very good. All right. Once again, if uh, we can't come to class, we try to bring the class to you, all right? All right, now from here, you're gonna go ahead and bring it all the way back down. Put your hands in. Let's kind of push yourself up to your knees here. All right, once again, let's take it back to an extended child pose. You to take your right hand a little higher than the left and bring it back down. There we go. So you want to feel that stretch there, the right side of the back. We're gonna bring it all the way up. Let's try the other side here. So, left hand, a little higher, press that palm down, sit back. So let's go ahead and bring our legs around here. Why don't you go ahead and lay all the way back down on the mat. All right. So I want you to take your hands above your head here. And I want you to point the toes. I want you to stretch as tall as you can. Once again, you want to try to stretch enough to where you feel this in the abdominals. up to 90 degrees. Take the hands right around the knees. We'll just go ahead and um, rock the legs side to side. All right, now I want you to reach under these knees and I want you to roll yourself up. And I want you to give yourselves a great big hand because you did a fantastic job. All right, I hope you enjoyed this class. Hopefully we'll be seeing this or doing these classes in class, in person, very soon. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.